Zay Flowers. Boy, was I happy when the Ravens drafted him. We needed a receiver. Um, we had Bateman. Didn't have Odell Beckham at the time, I don't think. No. Um, so I was super happy when we got Zay Flowers. That's who I wanted the whole draft process, and we got him. So Zay Flowers, probably going to be star. Um, but I'm okay with that. We're going to be doing the career simulation of Zay Flowers. Um, right away, I'm going to make him just, I'm going to make him over Bateman because he's in the, he's going to be in the slot. There we go. Um, and hopefully we, uh, do well with Zay Flowers year one. Hopefully he gets rookie of the year. Probably not, but, um, who knows? I did mess with the regression uh, for Zay Flowers, among others. I'll show you that in a second. Running backs are for progression. I didn't mess with anything there except for running backs. Regression is where I mess with Zay Flowers a little bit. He's going up to 120. Halfbacks going up to 140. Quarterbacks at 70. Offensive lines at 70, tight ends are right where they are. Um, same thing with corners. Safeties are a little bit high, and corners are 140. So, that being said, let us get into year one of Zay Flowers. All right, so we went 13-4, and four, won the division. Stats and awards. Receiving. Zay Flowers. Had the most receiving yards and the most receiving touchdowns. Couldn't quite get to 1,000 yards for Zay Flowers, but did get nine touchdowns. He is a day one starter. And we have a skill point for him. He's star. Uh, let's... Was he... Uh, Low end, probably physicality, deep route running, and release. All right, we're gonna go deep, deep threat. Then, did he win rookie of the year? Oh, he did. Let's go, Zay Flowers, rookie of the year. Okay, does did not expect that to happen. Not going to lie. Um, I am going to change the playbook, though, after the playoffs here, because um, while we did go 13-4, and four, Zay Flowers didn't have very many receiving yards. But our defense did really well, so maybe we keep the defense. Yeah, we only had... We, we came almost dead last in offensive pass yards per game. So that that's what happens when you have Lamar Jackson, but we're going to... Make Lamar a more of a pocket passer. Chiefs, Ravens, wild card matchup. Here we go. And we lost 24 19. We are going to sim to the off season. Oh, look at that. And after changing our uh, scheme, Zay Flowers goes up to Superstar. I love to see it. Um, and also, no more. Uh, Odell Beckham Jr. All right, free agency recap. Who did we get? Sterling Shepard, so another mid receiver, corner, and a couple guards. Um, now we sim to the draft. Let's see who we get. Let's see who we get in the draft. Sterling Shepard should not play over Bateman, by the way. He should be our third receiver. Nothing more, nothing less. All right, draft recap. We went a corner first overall. He doesn't look very good. 93 speed's decent, I guess. And then we got a 74 running back later. All right. So uh, I'll see you guys at the end of next year um, at the playoff. And we do have another skill point on Zay Flowers. 78 release is, is not great. Probably get that up a little bit more with deep route running.
Ah, man, didn't get released. Okay. All right, so we went 10 and 7. Uh, did not win the division. Stats and awards. Mark Andrews. Uh, so Zay Flowers had a thousand yards, ten touchdowns, sixty-three and a half. Wait, no, sorry, thirteen. Is that right? Yeah, thir thirteen yards per reception is not bad at all. Um. So yeah, let's see. Did he get offensive player of the year? Maybe I don't know. Probably not this young, right? Lamar Jackson won MVP. AFC Offensive Player of the Year. No Zay Flowers. All right. Let us see who wins. Baltimore, Indianapolis. Uh, now we're to the divisional. The Browns won the division. We came in second. Can we... Beat the Browns. We are away. We lost 31-23. Alright, I will see you guys next year. Next next playoffs. Alright, so we went 12 and 5, tied for the division lead. Oh man, that sucks. Couldn't quite win the division, but we were first in uh, offensive yards. Oh, wow. Safe Flowers, 1,500 yards, 18 touchdowns, 16 yards per gain. Oh, man. Hopefully this is a either a dev trade upgrade or a offensive player of the year award. Lamar wins MVP. Oh, we just lost out to Isaiah Pacheco. That sucks. Zay Flowers at number two. Don't think he's going to get a very high legacy score. But maybe we can if we win the Super Bowl. Here we go. Ravens, but uh, Buffalo. We've been playing some very good teams in this AFC, and we lost. Gosh, Lamar can't win a playoff game. Confirmed. Let's. I will see you guys next year at the playoffs. Okay. Oh my goodness. All right. Uh, there's a lot going on right now. So, Zay Flowers. I was going to look at the, the screen. This is still, this is the beginning of his third season, I want to say. He's an 89 overall superstar X Factor. But this guy, who's this guy? Jacoby Colvin. Now, he had superstar X Factor. Okay, Jacoby Colvin is insane. Um, That's our second tight end right there. And... I like what I'm saying. We need some receivers for for uh, Zay Flowers here. Like, I obviously like him being number one, but still. Um, I'll, I, by the way, I'll see you guys at the play playoffs. But Zay Flowers, man. Maybe he will. I think what he did was he won uh, receiver of the year. So I think that's what brought him up to uh, Superstar X Factor. All right, so we went 14 and three, got the first round by. I didn't. I, at first, I thought I saw the I saw the uh, us playing no one. I got very scared, but no, we got the first round by. Uh, let's look at stats and awards. How did we do offensively this year? Second best offense. Receiving Zay Flowers, 1,300 yards, 21 touchdowns. Holy crap. Okay.
Lamar wins MVP again. AFC Offensive Player of the Year is Zay Flowers. There we go. Um, best Receiver of the Year, maybe, too? Yep, there we go. Zay Flowers. Slowly, slowly becoming a very good player. He's up to, like, a 91, I have to guess. Um, and finally, we don't get uh, first-rounded by someone, by a good team. We are playing the Jaguars in the Divisional. This is a, a surprise compared to um, the Bills, the Chiefs, the Bengals. The, the Browns were a surprise too, kind of. Okay, and we won that. 42-14, destroyed the Colts. Or destroyed the, pet, the Jaguars. Now we play the, the Colts uh, in order to go to the Super Bowl. And we lost. No way. All right. Well, let us. Well, let's let's look at the. Um, how many years does Zay Flowers have on his contract? Oh, he had an extension, I think. Yeah. So he got a five, another five-year deal. He's a ninety-two right now. Superstar X Factor, and he has a skill point. We're putting it on deep threat. We need to get that release up. There we go. That, those are the two ones I wanted. Say flowers, man. All right, so here's what we're going to do. Since he's going to be here for five more years, we're going to sim four years. Um, where he has one year remaining on his deal. And then we'll, we'll recap all of, um, you know. Of what happened and whatnot so i will see you guys in about four years all right the year is 2030 um zay flowers should have one year left on his extension his deal there we go and he is a 99 overall at 29 years old holy crap superstar x factor yeah, he's pretty good. 99 catch in traffic is really good. Let us look at his stats um, for the last couple years. I think, yeah, 20, there we go. So 1,200 yards, 11 touchdowns, a little bit of a down year. 1,200 yards, 16 touchdowns, 1,700 yards, 20 touchdowns. Yeah, that's. That's pretty good. That was a pretty good year. Um, oh, I meant to... Alright, well, we won't look until the Super Bowl to see if he won any, like, awards or anything. So let's send to the Super Bowl. Actually, before that, I want to make sure that he's in the slot. Because that's where all the targets go. That's how you get better. I also want to see the legacy leaderboard real quick. Wow, Zay Flowers is already up here so far. 17,000 uh, legacy score. Tyreek Hill has a 25,000 legacy score, so we're very close to CD Lamb and Tyreek Hill. Apparently, we had two Super Bowls already, so, um, I mean, I can't wait to look at the, at the Super Bowl at the end of the year and see if... Um, if we won any of those Super Bowls, let us sim to the playoffs. All right, we went nine and eight. We, we somehow won the division. Stats and awards. So we do still have Lamar Jackson, fourteen best best offense, so middle of the pack. Zay Flowers, eleven hundred yards, eight touchdowns. Kind of a down year for him. How old is he? He is twenty nine. So I mean. He's 99 playmaker, 99 slot. He's he's a 99. I don't know what else to say. This is Zay Flowers' last deal, last year on his deal, by the way. So I mean, if everyone's leaving, I might as well. Zay Flowers might as well leave as well. Can we beat the Buffalo Bills in the wild card? We can. 28-17. Can we beat the Texans, who apparently have gone 13-4 and four in the Divisional? Probably got the first round by as well. 
That is a new team, and we can. Can we beat the Miami Dolphins to head to the Super Bowl? Devon A. Chain is their best player, a 93 overall star running back. We cannot. Man. MVP is Josh Allen. Offensive player of the year is B. John Robinson. Wow, look at that Super Bowl. 10-7. That is a so bad Super Bowl. 2029. Vikings beat the Bills. Lamar Jackson wins MVP. Zay Flowers wins Offensive Player of the Year. That's when he had the very good year. 2038. Ravens win the Super Bowl. Lamar Jackson wins MVP. Super Bowl MVP, sorry. And that's about it. 2027. Ravens win back-to-back -back Super Bowls. And that's about it. 2026, Lamar Jackson wins MVP. And 2025, he wins MVP. 2024, he wins MVP. D Dak Prescott won MVP in 2023. What is happening? I'm also interested to see how... Lamar Jackson is looking on the legacy leaderboard as well. Huh. So it looks like we might have re-signed uh, Zay Flowers early on in the process. Let's see team salaries. All right. So Zay Flowers has four years left on his deal. All right. So I will see you guys in three years, I think I'm going to say. Yeah, that seems about right. But this time, instead of simming to the... I'll end at the Super Bowl and not start at the new year. All right. So it is 2020... No, not 2023. 2033. And we are in the playoffs. Our quarterback... We went 9-8, and eight, by the way. Our quarterback is now Desmond Ritter. I think Lamar has retired. We came in first offensively, and as for receiving, Zay Flowers had 1,100 yards, 12 touchdowns. He is a 94 uh, overall now from a 99, so he is regressing. Yearly awards, Josh Allen is MVP, Offensive Player of the Year is Josh Allen. No... Uh, say flowers, but we are in the playoffs. So let's see if we can beat the Colts. Um, in the wild card, not gonna jump in here. Probably not. At least, if we do make it to the conference championship, I'll jump in. All right, we play the fourteen and three Dolphins in the divisional. Okay, well, we did make the, the, the conference championship, so let's jump in here. Um, we're going to play offense only. Hopefully, Desmond Ritter and Zay Flowers can uh, give us a Super Bowl victory, even though it's not the Super Bowl. If we lose, so what? We've already won two Super Bowls in the video. Um, not, like, actually, though. Because I haven't jumped in. Let's see. It's a low scoring game. We get on the board first. 7-0. Buffalo scores back. 14-7. 14-14 at halftime. It's a very close game. 21-14. 28-14. I think we just ran away with it. I don't know. Buffalo's coming back. Uh-oh. Eight seconds left. Third and one. Oh, no. They need a field goal. We're going to ice them. Did we just lose? There's no way. Tyler Bass is up. The kick is up, and it is good. The Buffalo Bills... Oh, man. 
Is Zay Flowers back there? No, I think it's Richardson. We're going to let this bounce in the end zone. Wherever Zay Flowers is, we're going to throw it up to him. As Desmond Ritter. Can Desmond Ritter lead a comeback? Off the back foot. Zay Flowers, jump up and get it. Dang it. All right, well. Why are you head shaking? You just lost. That sucks, but at the same time, we've already won two Super Bowls in the video, so I, I, I really wish I could have jumped in and played with Zay Flowers, but maybe we'll have another opportunity next year. All right, 2031, Offensive Player of the Year, Zay Flowers, MVP, Lamar Jackson, we've seen that a lot. 2032, we made another Super Bowl, Lamar Jackson was MVP. And he probably retired after that, if I had to guess, because we had uh, Desmond Ritter here. So we've made three Super Bowls. Only we've won two of them. Um, so let's, I think it's the, the last year of Zay Flowers' contract this year. Yeah, he has one year remaining. He's a 92 overall. He's 33 years old. He is slowly regressing. He's going to be in the slot for this next year. Hopefully we can do good. I'll see you guys at the playoffs. Oh, wait. Before we do that, let us look at the uh, legacy board. I do want to see where Lamar is. Yeah, Lamar is 41,000. <laughs> he's won so many MVPs. Oh, wait, he's on the Seahawks. He's not retired yet. Okay. As for receivers... Justin Jefferson is, we're all pretty close. Jefferson, C.D. Lamb, and Zay Flowers are all very, very close. They have to be very old, though, right now. Justin Jefferson is a 94, so, but he's also 35. We're a 94. So is C.D. Lamb. Oh, boy. I'm a 93, and I'm 33. All right. Zay Flowers has some work to do if he wants to be number one on the legacy leaderboard here. But, uh, yeah, I will see you guys at the playoffs. All right, so we went 6 and 11. Ah, uh, what happened? Our defense just was horrible. But we have a really good team. Okay, that's so weird. We have a new quarterback, Addison Tobin, who actually did not bad. Receiving Zay Flowers, 1,300 yards, 12 touchdowns. Definitely coming back a little bit. Um, did he win Offensive Player of the Year? Probably not, right? Mark Jackson still putting up numbers. Uh, AFC Offensive Player of the Year is Trevor Lawrence. Zay Flowers is at 6. Oh, man, I meant to see the, the record for Bryce Young. We'll uh, check that after uh, this. So, Zay Flowers is on his last year of his deal. Let's sim to the offseason, see if um, the general manager picks up or just extends him, really. Oh, maybe we did resign him. Okay, let's see uh, team salaries real quick. Yep, three-year deal for Zay Flowers. 34 years old, 89. Uh, <laughs> wait, what? Ronald Donald? <laughs> what? Oh, uh, what does he work at? McDonald's? <laughs> Man, that's great. We have Ronald Donald on our team. Anyway... Three-year deal. He's 89 overall, 34 years of age. He's due for a, a big-time regression soon. So, soon, kind of like now. So, uh, I'll see you guys at the playoffs here. All right, so the Ravens went 6-11 and 11 again. Um, I don't know. We have the best playbooks in the game. I don't know what to say. All right, how did uh, Zay Flowers do? 
stats and awards. Receiving, Zay Flowers, 1,200 yards, 9 touchdowns. Pretty average season from him. Yearly awards. Trevor Lawrence wins MVP. Lamar Jackson's still up there. Addison Torbin is somehow there. And now we're going to go to... Uh, I'll see you guys at the playoffs next year, I guess. If we even make the playoffs. We're probably going to go 6-11 and 11 again. Uh, guys, I don't see uh, Zay Flowers here anymore. Did he retire? There he is, Zay Flowers in the Hall of Fame. Oh, Zay. Right now, he's the highest. Oh, uh, Jamar Chase. Right now, he's the highest legacy scorer of all wide receivers. He's number seven of all players. Lamar Jackson's number one, of course. But there we go. Zay Flowers, did he set any records while he was here? He spent his entire career with the Baltimore Ravens. So he hasn't really set any... Uh, oh, there we go. Zay Flowers, he's up there closely. 21 touchdowns in a season. That's pretty close to Jerry Rice. If you get playing, you could probably have it. But now he hasn't really set any, uh, and he hasn't really set any records. But he did get uh, receiving touchdowns. That's his probably highest stat right there. 181 in his career. So he had 180. Can we look at this? 181 career touchdowns. And so yeah. He, uh, he had a pretty good career. I would say he made the Hall of Fame, so he was pretty good. Um, like I said in my Bryce Young video, let me know if you have any other players you want to see um, uh, developed in a career simulation. The next one I'm going to do is B. John Robinson. Uh, and then probably Derek Carr, if I had to guess. I don't know. I'm going to definitely do like a, a washed guy, probably a quarterback um, that was once good, but now needs to uh, get good. You'll see that, like my line of thinking there. But yeah, let me know in the comment section down below if you want to see more of these. Thanks guys for watching. Leave a like and subscribe if you have not already, and I will see you guys later.